Hey guys, Cleo of Topless Topics here, the channel that seeks to destigmatize female toplessness through repeat exposure, except that, of course, I have been getting a lot more bans lately, thanks to triggered uh, conservatives reporting my videos for imaginary guideline violations. So that's why I've been doing everything closed for a little while there, because even when I do censor them, they are still getting banned for sexually explicit nudity. It's a whole fucking thing. If you want to see hundreds of screenshots, you can go to topistopics.org slash banned. Anyway, even though even now I am in the middle of a YouTube ban, I have a fresh strike from putting up an interview, a fully closed interview, <laughs> with an intersex friend of mine, intersex meaning born with XXY chromosomes or just somehow differing from the assumed physiological binary of male and female. And stupidly, I linked to the Discord link to the Discord server that is started by my friend for people who want to learn more about what it's like to be intersex, to share resources, to meet other intersex people, etc. I linked to that and YouTube gave me a strike for that link saying I was linking to porn. Yeah. Anyway, What's hilarious is that even as I've been unable to upload new stuff to YouTube, I'm still getting views on my old stuff, which ironic in its own sense. But what's really funny to me is that I have this nine second short that I put up that's actually also here on TikTok because what I do is I make it on TikTok and then I post it as an Instagram reel and a YouTube short because, you know, why not maximize chances of viewership? Anyway, here on TikTok, it's only got like 100 views or something like that. There's no rhyme or reason for what goes viral here versus Instagram versus YouTube. But I have this little nine second clip I did that's a screenshot of a comment from a libertarian. See my other video, how there's no such thing as a libertarian anymore. You all are just conservatives who don't like the stigma of the label. Anyway, the short clip is me posting a screenshot of this person's comment where they're saying like, oh, you liberals, you're all offensive and divisive. And then they go on to insult me personally, my parents and my everything like that. So, you know, the, the, the bit that I say in the video is just that like conservatives have no self-awareness. For some reason, <laughs> on YouTube, on the YouTube upload of this exact video, I have been getting thousands of views. I have been getting over a thousand percent of the usual viewership that my videos get, especially within the first few days since the upload. I mean, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> For me, being constantly banned and shadow banned and having to re-upload all my stuff to new accounts as, you know, again, I have haters false flagging all my stuff so it gets taken down by algorithms. This is a lot. And what's hilarious to me is that I'm getting all these comments on that video and just like here on TikTok, they are, you know, triggered bleepers. I can't even say, you know, T apostrophe P uh, E R S or they you know, the little snowflakes replay, uh, report this video as, um, as hate speech, whatever. <laughs> so I have that video up and, uh, it's been getting thousands of views and the comments are all again, triggered blankers because they, I guess, you know, a hit dog will holler and they're not happy. I mean, their, their videos, their, their comments are very like, you know, the old standard insulting my appearance, calling me, you know, insulting my intelligence, blah, 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 because they don't have an actual argument. And yet the beautiful thing about engagement and views and comments and everything like that, the algorithm doesn't care if you're hate watching. In fact, they specifically encourage content to show up on the feeds of people that they know won't be happy about it. Twitter is the worst of this. And I did not, I stopped using Twitter completely in November and it has been beautiful not having to worry so much about having some asshole quote tweet me and get, you know, a thousand people telling me I should bleep 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 myself. But even on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that, but especially on YouTube, they will deliberately show content on the feeds of people that have demonstrated through their past videos that they don't like that kind of content because engagement is key. Getting people to watch and respond is all that these websites want. And so it works out great for me <laughs> that even though it's all these bleepers hate watching my videos and leaving comments, the algorithm just goes, well, this video is getting lots of views and comments. Let's show it to more people. And so I've made videos about this before, but it just, it's, it's delicious. It's delicious that I win either way because these bleepers 
are giving me free engagement. If you're reading, watching this right now and you're about to leave a comment, you know, insulting me, you're giving me free engagement. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for your rage. Thank you for your inability to keep your emotions and reactions in check because all you're doing is helping me get into the feeds of more people. More people who might even agree with me. Crazy thought. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for all the views.